When you go to learn a song, there's many things you have to learn. However, the one thing that'll tell you the most about a song is the key, because that's how you know what chord is doing what and what notes you can use to improvise. And this video is gonna teach you how to find a key and how to navigate around one along with transposing it in case it doesn't match your voice or you just wanna change the key to look smart. The first thing you have to understand in whatever song you're choosing, if it's any popular song, it's gonna be in a major or minor key. And if it's in a major key, you count off your notes one through seven. And minor keys are actually really simple because they follow the same pattern as a major key. However, it's like starting from the sixth of another major key. So everything is almost technically in a major key once you learn modes. So the first step is to just Google what key the song is in and change any minor key into a major key. And you can do that by identifying your minor first, in this case E, and then go up three frets. And that's what the major first is for those keys to actually just be the same key. And if you understand this pattern, there's a way you can find where each chord is in a key one through six. If you want to find one, four, and five, go to any one and play that pattern. And if you want to find two through six, you do the same thing, but you slide down to the six, then find the two and the three. And alternatively, you can do this from the A string like this, one, five, four, or six, three, two. And that's so you can easily determine chords to transpose them or change them very quickly. For example, we can take a C major. And in that example, we took a C major one to a five, one, and then to a four. So if we want to change that song into a different key because I can't sing well in C, but I can sing well in A major, I then just take one, five, one, four, and play it the exact same way, but just with those different chords. To build a step onto this, if you're subscribed already and you've seen my videos, you understand that there's seven modes and seven different scales that all just make up the one scale we call the major scale, one, three, seven, and they each have an individual starting point on a note, one through seven. So if we know this strategy of finding one, four, five, two, three, and six, we can then identify easily where our modes are, which can help us figure out where notes are in a key. So when we do that transposing from C to A, we'll actually understand those are all the notes we have to play with instead of this set. So by knowing that one basic pattern and just knowing what letters you're switching between, you can actually change the key of any song and this makes it super easy to extend songs that you love, whether it be by solo or just adding a couple little flare parts to make it your own. But if you know how to branch off off of a three using a mode, it sounds really, really cool and it can make a song you. So in summary, determining your key and changing it around using this method of the one, four, five, two, three, six shapes, is actually super simple and not as complicated as music theory makes it sound. And of course, if you want more simple guitar videos to understand, subscribe for more and like so I can keep it up just for you.